In this uh, lecture, we will speak uh, about the uh, digital image uh, features. We will explain uh, the methods used to extract the features from the uh, for each image. Uh, uh, different uh, approaches and methods are used to extract the features. Uh, we will explain some of them. Of them. Uh, we will start with the statistical uh, method. Then we will use the local binary pattern method and uh, its modifications. Also, we will speak about the KME clustering. And uh, we also will uh, use the wavelet bucket uh, 3D composition. Uh, first, we have to define the features, the image features. The image features uh, is a set of uh, values uh, or vectors. Uh, these values can be used as a signature or a primary key or classifier to retrieve the image from the image database or to recognize the image. Uh, the features uh, must be uh, unique for each image. And the size of the image, the size of the features must be uh, small in order to get a small uh, image features database. Why to why to get or to extract the features? Because we have uh, a huge number of images and uh, different or various uh, types of images. Also, the image size is uh, too big. Uh, some images are uh, has uh, megabyte, uh, megabytes of size. So we have to uh, reduce the image matching time. Here is an example of how to calculate the image matching time, pixel by pixel. This is for one image. Uh, this is a MATLAB code. We read the image, then we uh, plot the image and its uh, histogram. Then uh, we uh, match the image with itself. Uh, uh, and we calculate the matching time. Here we use a timer, tick and talk four loops, uh, three loops to uh, check whether the pixels in the two images are equal. Uh, this image, uh, for Akaba image, I use this image. The uh, matching time was about uh, 0 0.035 seconds. The image size here uh, about 122 kbytes with resolution uh, 4755. If we take a bigger image, it will take more time. Here for Petra image, we have a matching time uh, of 0 0.738 second. Uh, the image size here about uh, around uh, five megabytes. Uh, so if we have a big number of images, this uh, time will be multiplied by N, where N is the number of images stored in the image database or in the image uh, folder. So this is the reason. The first reason is the matching time is uh, uh, too high. 
and the image size is uh, too big. So we have to seek a method to reduce the matching time and to represent the image by a set of uh, values. These values are called uh, features. Uh, and uh, the features here can be used as an identifier or a primary key to retrieve the image or a classifier to recognize the image. The features uh, must be uh, small in size and the extraction time also must be uh, very low. E the method must be easy to implement and the features must be unique for each for each image. Here I use some images, uh, 10 images here, cat image, dog image, and so on. Uh, the material uh, will be, I will give you the link of the material, uh, and uh, you can use the method here uh, for any image, and uh, here are some information about the images used. Cat image, uh, resolution, how many pixels, and the image size. The image size is the resolution multiplied by three because uh, we have RGB, uh, RGB color image, red, green, and, uh, and blue. First of all, we will introduce the statistical method. This method is based in calculating some statistical parameters. It's very simple and very easy. Here in uh, uh, this code, uh, I use uh, six values to represent the image, the average of each color, red, green, and blue, three values and the standard deviation of the red and green and blue colors. Uh, here in MATLAB, the implementation code, and uh, the features here will be uh, six values, three for the means and three for the standard deviation. Uh, I, run this, I run this program for the images here and we uh, get the information, uh, the needed information. The needed information is the uh, image features. Here are the image features, uh, six values. And uh, if we look at this table, each feature is uh, unique for a certain image. Thus, we can use these uh, features uh, as a classifier or identifier or a signature for the image. Here the extraction time for each image and the average time is around 0 0.03 uh, second. It's a small time and uh, if we want to uh, if we want to save these features, we have to run the program here for each uh, image. Then we have to create a image feature database here. The image feature database for these images will be a two-dimensional matrix, uh, six uh, uh, rows, because we have six features, and 10 columns. We have here 10 uh, images, one column for each, for each image. This is very simple method. We, have, we can use uh, other uh, statistical parameters and we can uh, here uh, use these parameters, para these parameter values as, uh, as image, image features. Uh, this is the first method. The second method will be explained in the following lecture. Thank you.
please uh, uh, please like the video and subscribe it and good luck.